Chris Carey playing from right to left in the first half. Morris Shanley taking it back up here. He replaces Shane Meehan. A change for the match against Limerick. Made a lot of ground there. Brian O'Driscoll transferring it. Maguire involved. Here's in a great chance. Rolled in. And that is a goal by Paul Walsh. Carried in here by Brian O'Driscoll. Moved forward by Ian Maguire. And somehow Paul Walsh managed to sneak in. In as far as Paddy Clifford. Pressure on the court backs. David Clifford prodding it forward here. Picked up nicely. Rolled in for Paddy Clifford. And Paddy Clifford has somehow missed. It seemed easier to put it into the corner of the court net. You really should have finished. And that is going to be intercepted by Matty Taylor. Carry over signaling their intentions with that long ball. Taylor into it quickly. Brian Hurley turning round. On his left, striking brilliantly and putting it over the crossbar. That's two for Brian Hurley now. That's the first to come from open play. Down along the line, it comes towards Brian Hurley. Turned brilliantly. Hurley advancing. Still Hurley. And wisely fisting it over the crossbar. His third. Another for Cork. And now they've got the last three scores. And now it's one four to four points. Down as far as Shoddy O'Shea. Getting there ahead of Morris Shanley. Shanley having his hands full, looking after O'Shea. David Clifford, always a handful. O'Shea again. Looking to create terror and real danger up front. And this time it's beautifully over. Disputed by a few of the court people. But Shawnee O'Shea has got his first point from open play. Kicked it way up into the air here. And did it carry in? Well, the umpire said yes. Some of the court players said most definitely not. But it counts and it's won seven to seven points. Chris O. Jones was pondering his next move. Charlie O'Shea nipped in, out as far as Paul Murphy, all the way down to David Clifford. Cork now suddenly exposed. Kerry got a lot of bodies forward. Clifford hits it, strikes it over the crossbar. There were other options. There were a few other Kerry players who had made a run from a deep position. He decided not to pick them out, but to go for the score himself. After that steal there by Shawnee O'Shea, down as far as Clifford, got first run on Dan O'Mahony, decided, let's go for the score. Oof. David O'Connor played that ball across there and almost seemed to injure himself in the process. Tom O'Sullivan. An ambitious kick. An accurate kick. An absolutely brilliant point. Second of the match by Tom O'Sullivan. And they are level for the third time. Won nine to 12 points. Joe O'Connor. Ooh, one back. Tigerishly so by Matty Taylor. Gavin White's in hot pursuit. They're all chasing after him. More Kerry players back than Cork players. And Kerry should hold on to it, but they don't do so. And it is finally Brian Hurley. And Hurley puts it up and over the crossbar. What a passage of play that was. From the steal at one end, when Kerry looks set to add to their lead, to Cork going down the other end being steadfast in their approach and composed in the finish by Brian Hurley 14 points to 110 David Clifford back into Sullivan again and now it is over the crossbar via Sonny O'Shea that was swift, that was decisive they were all on the one page moving in perfect harmony Tom O'Sullivan and Sonny O'Shea completing that Gavin White looking to try and cement Kerry's place now in another Monster final. Dara Moynihan, as far as Tom O'Sullivan. To add to his own personal tally, there was a doubt about the last would be score, but this one is definitely over. And Tom O'Sullivan, the left corner back, has got his third point. That's a really good score by O'Sullivan. Well, Kerry have managed to get the job done after a fashion. Not at their best, best by any manner of means. They only took the lead on 50 minutes. But in the second half, Jack O'Connor's team did enough. And in the end, they get through to the monster final by three points.
final score. It's Kerry, 18 points, Cork, one goal and 12.